YouTube. <laughs> what is up? It's Joey, Nightwood Kennels. Uh, man, it's been a while. Um, I just want a car, but since last video, I've ended up buying a new dog. A buddy of mine had him. Uh, He's a two-year-old coming three. He, see, Finley River Steen is what he's out of. So he's a Finley River bred dog. Um, so like I said, it's been a while, man. I'm, God, I'm sorry. But just had a lot going on. Flu season and all this and that. I had two kids, been sick. Uh work stuff on top of it i do work for state highway we get kind of busy during winter months uh but anyway i'm gonna turn this new dog loose let y'all check him out uh just let me know what you think about him uh let you know what y'all think about my hunts my channel uh just Make sure to like, subscribe, share this for me, please. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do more. I'm trying to get a whole lot more viewers out there to put this coon hunting business out there, man. I'm just trying to get a lot of people viewing, a lot of people looking, uh, spreading the word about the coon dogs. <laughs> but whatever. All right. Let's get this dog out. Let's go trim some cones, y'all. Make sure I got you on my Garmin. Da da da. Old Rattler. Check him out, y'all. Look what a hound. Man, he's a good looking hound. Alright, let's go. Go. He's gone hunting. Huh. That's quick. Got him turned loose. He went about about a hundred yards off the truck and struck. We we'll, uh, just kind of wanted y'all to hear him. See right here's the truck. Just half cut him loose. There's all my stuff from last time I was in here. Uh. That dog is at a raccoon, mister. Oh. Give him a few minutes to see what he does.
He's not turried yet. He's looking right now. He's either hung up and trying to figure out how to get around. The way that right there looks, the 1200, 1300, that's uh, this topographic maps on these Garmin's. I'm wanting to say he's hung up. when I'm not <coughs> so he's on the ridge now that's what it was he was hung up That's another thing I like about this dog. I've hunted him a little bit. I was just trying to get him going before I, not get him going, but get him hunted up a little before I started making a video because I didn't want to be, you know, just a bunch of crazy stuff. Try to get you guys a good video. So I've been hunting him a little bit and he treated double the other night. So, and then the other night I was in here and he slick treated on me. But that's one thing I do like about this dog. He, I'm not going to say a lot of dogs would, but I'm going to say some dogs right there where he was at and that little stuff there. I'm going to say of uh, some dogs would have just treed there and wouldn't have tried to figure out how to get around. I have seen that before. I've had dogs do that. But him, he's not one to get, to really get hung up as far as I've seen. But I'm gonna give him a little bit with that track. <coughs> And see if we can see if he don't come treat here in just a little bit. All right. dog just come treed. I was trying to get I was trying to get that big long locate he's got on here but I missed it. Maybe he didn't come treed. Back down again. Man, this dog is...
really work. I'm gonna have to. Barley can hear me. On this phone, I'd say. I can hear him pretty good, though. So he's at the main top of that, and he's Start and go down the other side. Man, that dog's worth that kind. <coughs> they zigging and zagging. It's a pretty good sign to me. Ain't no straight line track. But uh, I'm gonna give him a few minutes. I'll probably walk on up here in a minute and get a little closer to him. All right, let's give him a little bit. All right, so showing this dog in their tree, uh, there's a road that goes over through here what I'm gonna do is try to get in here closer to him. Uh, I know the guy that owns it, or owns the, where it goes in at. He's got a bunch of chickens and stuff over here. Uh, gee, brother, I need some gas. See, it don't make no difference. But uh, I'm gonna try to get in here to him. Uh, I'll get back on here get there or get closer all right here we are he is right now 324 from me that way uh, let's go in there and see what he's got yeah So, oh, I see his eyes. He's right up there. Oh, man, he's in a good looking tree. I know that. But uh, I'm gonna walk up here to him. See if I can't see what he's got. <laughs> Y'all know that rat? Good boy. There. That one's a cone. Look here. Good boy, Red. 
Good boy. Get on there. Uh, man. What a tree. Look at what a tree. Oh god. Man, purdy in here. Brought him home, didn't you, old man? Well. Big Dan Terry. Night. That's how it goes. Get on her, son. Good boy. Good boy. Get on here. Good boy. Alright, case y'all were wondering, right there he lays, same tree, said to blow my squad a little bit, got him come down, where I could see, there he lays, alright, good boy, good boy, Man. A good part. <laughs> there you go. Good boy. Good boy. Cone dog boys, right there. Prime example. Get you some man. All right, so guys, I'm extremely happy with the way this dog has performed tonight. Uh, cut him loose, got in there 150 yards off the truck, struck a track, run it. He ended up falling tree at about 700 yards from where I cut him loose at. But the ground that he covered, he covered about almost a mile. That's a mile. And the way these mountain cones run, it's just unbelievable the amount of ground these dogs, or these cones can cover. And to have a dog that is, will run in there and strike a track on that cone, run that cone, not get hung up, and see about 200, 300 yards he got on a high wall, and I thought he was going to get hung up on it, but he ended up going on, and I just about halfway mistaked him for running a deer, no joke, I was getting ready to put him off of it, and get him back, but I didn't. And I'm glad because 
ends up coming true and drove around to him, walked in there to him. I'm thinking it was a den the whole time I'm looking at this tree. I just knew it was a den. A uh, little flying squirrel come down the tree. And again, because I won't make no excuses for dogs. I'm not going to make up excuses for dogs. A dog's going to do what a dog's going to do. And I won't make excuses for them. But again, I, I almost accused him of treating a squirrel. As crazy as that sounds. Uh, I was getting ready to pull him off of it. I stopped the video. Uh, I hit my squalor a few times. You know, I had the, had the low red on. Looked up. Seen two eyes coming down the tree limb. Dog got in there. Done what he was supposed to do. Got treed. And he had the grease. <laughs> Man, I am just so excited about about this new dog that I have. Uh, bought him off a buddy of mine. He had laid him up since about October. So October, we'll count October. November, December. October, November, December. January. 1st of February, I've had him for about two, three weeks, so five months the dog's been laid up. I've hunted him four times. First time didn't do too good, second time done all right, third, I mean, it just took a little bit of working on him to get him going back, you know, hunted up, but tonight, man, he looked like a million bucks. I am so excited and so happy with this dog. But uh, that's gonna do it for tonight. For to this video, uh, I got a benefit hunt tomorrow. I'm gonna go to hit. Uh, <clears throat> but I'll catch y'all on the next video. I mean, I'm just I don't know what else to say. I mean, I'm just so so happy with this, with tonight and the way it went. But uh. Y'all be good. Keep them running. Tree one for me, y'all. Y'all have a good one. See you.